Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to have you here today. How does it feel to be presented with this award? Uh, wonderful. Yeah, I mean, obviously, awards aren't why you do it, but they are, um, if we're entirely honest. Absolutely, yes. And this is a, a lovely one. You know, it's always nice to have be in a show that finds an audience, but um, something that's also recognised by the press. You know, that's kind of the, uh, the icing on the cake for us. And casting your minds back, what was you know the the original driver to want to create the show, and what does it mean to you for it to have connected with audiences? Uh, well, we just wanted to do something new, really. We'd, we'd we'd written a fantasy show, so we thought, why not do something sort of supernatural? Is that is that too much of a difference? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. But no, yeah, I think so. We just wanted to try something new and and yeah. and, uh, and, and uh, write a show that we felt Hollywood would appeal to a big audience. And, yeah. Yeah, I think Thankfully, finding something that was kind of hopefully cross generational. Yeah. You know, we grew up with comedies that you sit and you could watch with your, you know, kids and grandparents together, and so hopefully. Uh, something like that that fitted well on BBC One and that was kind of the hope and yeah. just really glad it, it found an audience. And what were some of the highlights and challenges of making it along the way? Keeping a straight face, Yeah, I think it's always I mean, that the, the, the hardest challenge. That was, yeah. the, that was the most consistent challenge I think. Well for you I would say probably makeup, right? Yeah, Every day. I mean um, they, were, they were long hours. I, I've, I really enjoyed my lions when we finished shooting but I mean, we were always really lucky. We had an amazing makeup team, and I got—I just got really used to getting up at about 5:30 and having a yeah. bit of rubber stuck to my forehead. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing how quickly things like that seem warm. It was all the stuff that surrounds the work itself. The work yeah. itself is an absolute joy. Going home with a moustache every night, looking like Pat for three months—it um, can be a challenge for my wife. <laughs> And watching it back, did you have a favourite scene or a favourite moment that you were so uh, excited to show people? Scenes with Larry, of course. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we had a wonderful. We got to have an argument over a weather. Potential. Yeah, we did. We yeah, we got to have a little uh, a love triangle situation. Yeah. That was really fun. Yeah. And do you know what you're going to be working on next? Yes, we do. But well, I mean, <clears throat> we don't know really as a no. group. We've got the irons in the fire, of course. But um, yeah, individually, there's lots on. Matt's up doing theatre, and Simon's taking over Hollywood, and you know, we're we're, you know doing other things as well I think yeah, yeah. it's yeah. nice to do a mix of some stuff we're doing individually now we have a bit of time back after five years and then we're putting sort of first steps on some things together as a group again yeah so, yeah. yeah yeah we'll be we'll getting see. together in April and seeing what we can come up with next and what do you what do you how do you see sort of the health of the industry right now particularly for kind of British TV comedy it seems like it's in a really good place yeah I think yeah. so I think it's in a really exciting place I think uh, there's so much young talent coming out. There's so many new platforms available for young talent, burgeoning talent, and uh, yeah, I think it's never been healthier. Yeah. Is there anything you would change? Would you see more investment in some places? I mean, it would be great. Obviously, we will say this as comedy writers, but um, you know, comedy hours—it's always something which is getting reduced each year, and the amount mm. of um, outlets there are is growing but that doesn't necessarily mean that there's actually more comedy going on to TV particularly yeah. you know mainstream after we were always really conscious of we weren't writing something for BBC One because it was shoehorned in there we wanted to do something that sat on that channel and hopefully other things will will follow and that there'll be investment in sitcoms because it hasn't been that hasn't been a growth sector over the last no, few years no favorite show out there that's not your own oh um, things I should have done I really love at the moment yeah um, yeah, uh, Lucia Keskin. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that, that's really, really, really good. Um, extraordinary is is, is extraordinary. Um, really loving the, the last batch of Inside Number Nine. Yeah, I mean, obviously yeah, yeah. Say that. So yeah, I got great, a sneak peek of a new series yeah. uh, the other week at the screening, and it looks fantastic. So yeah, yeah really looking forward to that. Amazing. Thanks for your time. Really enjoyed the day. Thank you.